Hey everyone, and welcome to Isms by Josie. Dexter was pretty adamant about uh, getting up on here just now, so I don't know when he's going to leave, but I'm just going to do the intro for you guys. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in, and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So I am doing something new. This is my new series. It's a workshop, uh, more like a how-to while you watch with me and Dexter. <laughs> and um, uh, we're going to do some... So I had to cut that off. I forgot I was... I forgot to do something. But anyway. <laughs> um, so today what I have for you guys, we're going to play an episode of The Lucy Show. Everyone knows Lucille Ball for I Love Lucy, and she has two other shows, which is Here's Lucy with her um, son and daughter, and this one is the Lucy show that um, has a lot of episodes, but no one really talks about. So I'm going to play it for you guys. Um, we're going to play uh, the episode, I believe this is season one, episode three. Um, where it's Lucy and Viv put in a shower. This is one of my favorite um, episodes, and it's very iconic. So while I'm doing that, I am going to be creating... Um, I'm going to show you how to do uh, the, bubble, um, the bubble design. Um, we're going to use some soap suds while we're watching um, the Lucy show, so it's going to be pretty funny. Um, I, I love this. This is probably one of the shows that I watch while I'm filming. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is... Um, we're going to do the lacquer. I'm going to try to see if it works. It's pretty much the same idea of using soap suds on polish. I've seen this done on video once. Let's see if it works with the lacquer. So for the background color, I use Rhythm and Blue by Sally Ann's Miracle Gel on all of them. All of the nails that I'm going to do today. And um, I'm going to be using... Sally has a miracle shell color graffiti to do the bubbles. Well, one good thing, while she's in the bathroom, at least she's not tying up the phone. Oh, can you imagine what would happen if we had a telephone in there? Good heavens. I wouldn't see Chris until she was old enough to vote. <laughs> Chris! Oh. I better get out in the kitchen and wash this off. Yeah. Chris, are you ever coming out of there? Well, what are you two doing? Is that you, Aunt Lucy? Yes, it's me, Aunt Lucy. This is a facial mask I'm wearing to make me look pretty. Gee, Mom, I thought you looked prettier without it. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. <laughs> well, what's come over you two, washing in the middle of the day? We're going to the Y. So? I'm gonna grab... Soap suds here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this over. Lucy, do you think it'd do any good if I polish boyfriend and had him call her? And while they're talking on the telephone, I could rush into the bathroom and stake out a claim in the name of the great unwashed. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Mom, we're going to the Y to play basketball. Okay, darling. Alright, and hopefully that stays there long enough. Now remember, be sure and take a so that when this dries, it's supposed to kind of take on the shape of the bubbles. So we're going to see if that works. Take a shower for me. You know, Viv, one bathroom is just not enough for five people. Of course it isn't. It never has been. I'm just going to have to install a second bathroom. Oh, now, Lucy, we've been over all of that before. You just can't afford it. Well, there's just one thing that we're going to have to do. You and the boys and I... 
are going to have to come out every morning, jump in the car, put the top down, ride into Danfield, and go through the car wash. <laughs> That's a thought. Hey, you know, I could just put in a shower instead of a whole bathroom. That way it wouldn't cost so much. Yeah, but Paisley the plumber would still charge you plenty for the labor. Well, I'm going to call him. Maybe he's having a sale. Maybe so. You know, we wouldn't even have to tear down a wall. We could put the shower in that closet in the boys' room. Hey, you better wash off that um, facial mask. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay. So the next one that we're going to be doing is... I want to see if the Blooming Gel bubble works. And I saw that happen once, but I think they used alcohol ink. Whatever you call that. Ink polish. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put on some base coat. Just because I want to seal this stuff in. So I'm just using my little Fuana base coat. I mean, the fact that I, that I draw plumbing for houses, I could probably put in my own shower, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I feel like you need to be certified, have some experience, but Lucy does a lot of stuff on her own. But I think it's pretty smart that she's going to get her neighbor to do it. I mean, I don't know how smart it is compared to hiring a professional. Invite two lovely girls to lunch. Oh, great. Come on, Lucy, let's get dressed. No, we can't go. Why not? Well, don't you remember, Viv? I was going over to Harry's. Don't you remember? I was going to invite him over here for lunch. You were? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah she was. She was. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now you just sit down, Harry. Relax. Get nice and comfy, and I'm going to make you your favorite dish, Eggs Benedict. Hold it. I love Eggs Benedict. Right, Lucy, what do you love it a little bit long day. If I'm out for brunch, I can hardly ever get anything different. I'll attempt to get something different for a change, and I never do. More than a peanut butter sandwich, you have something you either want repaired, shoveled, lifted, or taken out of a trap and buried. <laughs> Well, that's that's how the world works. You can be, I'm just joking. Oh, Harry, okay. you have such a suspicious so I'm going to take my so Madame Blam um, Blooming Gel. Oh, Unless, of course, you'd like and to this is going to be uh, different from the soap suds. So I am going to need a baller tool. Couldn't I just have a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> and I'm gonna need my Madame Glam Riverwalk gel polish. Well, that's a lot different than installing a whole shower. I can't do that by myself. Oh well, you have help. Yeah, who? Well, um, come in. Uh, Hi, Tootsie. Hi, Eddie. Eddie. Hi, Lucy. Hey. About you. You were? Yeah. How would you like some eggs, Benedict? Yeah. How would you like some eggs, Benedict? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Just marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi, Harry. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Want to meet Joe Melvin? This is Harry Connors. How are you? Hello, nice Joe. To see you. Boy, am I glad to see you. I just discovered I don't know a snake from a plumber's friend. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, where are the girls? Okay. I'm shopping. Why? So now I'm going to take the baller tool and I'm going to dip it in my white 
Great, but how? And I'm just going to make little bubbles. Buddy! <laughs> now, would you be willing to put out a little money to get out of installing that shower? Is it under a million dollars? <laughs> I'll give you my rock bottom price. You got a deal. All right, my boy, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to tell the girls that uh, Joe here is an old friend of ours who'll do the job for nothing. Then we split the bill, take the weekend off, and the girls don't know the difference. Is that good? Good. It's inspired. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I ask a question? Uh, no, go ahead. Why don't you just tell the two ladies the truth? Because they'd never go for it. Now, they don't mind us giving up our weekends or breaking our back, but they'd never allow us to pay you. After all, they've got their pride. Oh. Well, look, I better get to work. You guys started paying me the minute I walked through that door. <laughs> I'll show you where the shower goes. Yeah. It's in the closet in the boys' room. Now, Harry, uh, remember, we tell the girls that we meant to do the job with you. No offense. But suddenly you have to take But why would you put a shower in a bedroom? And I've got a client in town from LA. <laughs> and then we stay I just think that's the entire weekend. You got it? Definitely oh, poor plan planning. Yeah, Bedrooms yeah, usually have carpet. But you turned out to be positively crafty. I don't know how, I forget how they do it, but like, you're in bed, you could watch someone take a shower. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, I don't think this one's working out, so I would say this one's a fail. I do think, however, um, using the alcohol ink, uh, would definitely be a better idea. So if you have that, it's say use that instead. I'm gonna let this bloom a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna bloom it to the max. Yeah, I'm gonna let this sit on its own. Hopefully, it doesn't get all too gross looking. Then I'll come back in, I'll cure it, I'll come back in, and then I'll draw, like, defining bubble details on it. Well, from the looks of your sensitive hands, I'd say you were a doctor. You guessed it. I can always tell. So next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a basic bubble um, design so that you guys can just get the idea of it and it's what there most people true. do so i'm just gonna apply um my base coat again on this because we have that lacquer underneath well this is a stall shower there's no tub this is different from our other shower then I can get out of using this one on a technicality. How come? There's no place to sell my boat. <laughs> Joe, where does the water go off? Oh, right there. How come it's covered up? What do you see? This is a test plug. It has to stay screwed on over the drain until the inspector okays it. Uh, what's an inspector? No, no, no. I do you want a bath? Have to bother the man. Come on, downstairs. Why don't you go out and play or something? Buddy. Yeah, how's it going, Joe? <laughs> well, it would go a lot faster if you wouldn't keep coming in here every few minutes asking, how's it going, it's Joe? It's still in the way. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Joe, isn't that shower yet a little low? It's the standard height. Well, it looks a little low to my eye. I think it should be about five inches higher. Look, it's too late to do anything about it now. It's already in. Yeah, and the way it's in, Joe, that's a pretty sloppy caulking job. I'm not finished with it yet. Well, okay, so now I'm going to take my Madame Glam River Walk again. Personal, Joe. And just like with the first one we did, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to do a portion of it. Should you be using that wrench on that? <laughs> Just what do you suggest I use? Well, I think you should use that doohickey right there. You're liable to mar that hardware with that wrench. How would you like to do this yourself? Well, now let's not get huffy. I'm not getting huffy. Well, now for a doctor, you have very nasty bedside manners. <laughs> what would you say 
If I told you I was a plumber. <laughs> well, if you are, you could fool the panel on what's my line. <laughs> She's so rude sometimes. <laughs> I am a plumber. You are not. You're a doctor friend of Eddie's and Harry's. I never saw them before in my life. And the only operation I ever performed okay, was let me just a from a garbage disposal. get more bubbles since I took the last one. So we just need to shake it up. I'm gonna just grab. Boy, wait till I get my hands on those two sneaks. What two sneaks? Lucy, will you please tell me what you're talking about? I'll tell you later, while we're finishing the shower. <laughs> wait a minute. What do you mean, while we are finishing the shower? Oh, it won't be hard. It was, there's nothing much to do but hang the door and the faucet handle. He was almost finished. Who was almost finished? The friend, the doctor, the plumber, or one of the two sneaks? <laughs> Go get on your working clothes and I'll tell you. Now, Lucy, I've helped you do a lot of things, but I draw the line at plumbing. Now, Viv, do you want to hear the story about the friend, the doctor, the plumber, and the two sneaks, or don't you? <laughs> oh, the things I do to bring a little drama into my life. <laughs> so, rest and hurry back. I'll wipe this off in the end. Sneaks didn't do this themselves instead of throwing all that money away on that plumber. Well, I don't know why they didn't do it either, but I don't know why you're so mad at it for being So last but not least, I'm going to do something a little next level. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to see if it works. Besides, do you realize that they hadn't spent all that money on So again, base coat. You're right. They are a couple of sneaks. Hey, you get out and turn on the water main. We'll see how this works, huh? Yes, sir. Wait a minute, you better take this. I think it's going to be a little hard to turn. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Hurry up now. need to tighten it, buddy. Next I'm going to use Madame Glam Under Pressure. I'm sure there's a lot of you that have seen this episode. Well, look how pretty this is. Do something. I'm gonna have to take this off. 
Good thing we put that base coat on. I'm going to mix some of this with some hard gel. I want to get this a thicker consistency. So I'm going to use my gelish hard gel. <laughs> yep, shower doors swing out. Though. That thing's watertight. They always are behind on bills. I'm going to try to get these bubbles again. You know what? I like the first bubbles that we had where it wasn't so bubbly. So maybe I can do a slow stir. But I like these bigger bubbles. It is what it is. 
Okay, so again, I'm gonna just scoop this up. I'm gonna put the bubbles on here. So that was the shower episode. It was one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly <laughs> because I actually took longer than the show. But I am just cleaning off the soap suds. And um, I'm going to file this bit down. So you have to worry about that. But I'm pretty much done with the soap suds here. Let's get that out of the way. And I'm taking my Roslyn Gel Polish C124 and I am going to put some over the whole thing like this. And I'm hoping this... <laughs> I saw this one time. But they did exactly this. They um, did the bubble design underneath, put another color on top, and then they filed it down, even Steven. So it left the color inside the crevices. <sighs> so we're going to see. But yeah, I may just cut away. Um, after I apply this on, I'll do the, um, I'll do the filing out of film, off film, <laughs> and I'll come back and I'll show you the end result. Okay, I'm back, you guys. So this is the end result of our how-to bubble design. We did the first one with the lacquer, and this is exactly how I did it. It's just the lacquer and then the soap suds on top. You can see that it had bubbled. Um, so that is super cool. I didn't think that it would happen with lacquer. So you can do really excellent snakeskin with this. I don't know about bubbles because it's not really penetrating enough. I could have tried doing a... Um, a, a thinner amount of lacquer so that would be interesting um, I, I can imagine that you need thinner and more watery consistency um, salient and miracle gel is kind of thick in consistency so I don't think that would have you know ever made a bubble look more like a snake look the second look is with the um, blooming gel uh, like I told you I had made dots on this with the ball tool and I let it spread out and I actually forgot about it and it just did not, <laughs> it didn't look as bubbly. But with the power of detailing, I did some really cute bubble details on it and now it looks super cute like large bubbles. 
The next one that we have is the plain and simple gel polish under the soap suds. And look at the texture. Like when I do this, I don't even want to top coat it. But you know, uh, you can very well top clear top coat this and it'll look fine. It's just not going to have that really nice texture that I'm getting. Last but not least, we have that other bubble um, design that I tried. Um, so you can kind of see it. Look how kind of cool it is. So we have that first layer of the under pressure gel polish by Madame Glam. We bubble uh, designed that. And then we put the Rosalind reflective glitter gel on top of it. So some of the bubbles I filed off. <laughs> but the others, um, I was a little light handed. So you can see that they filled in those bubble gaps. And we're getting a really nice, interesting texture here. So when I did my, whenever I do my geo designs, or um, I did the turquoise, uh, design I probably should have done this technique because we're getting some really cool um, textured stuff going on here so that's it you guys this is my how to today how to do a bubble design I have Dexter with me still and I hope you enjoyed um, the the Lucy show uh, it's one of my favorites so I hope you guys um, like this episode leave a comment below let me know so um, I'll be able to like tweak things in here and there for this series because I think I'm just gonna go ahead and and do this because uh, I'm getting my my practice with speaking to you guys while filming and um, it's, it's really fun for me. All right, so this is Ism Spy Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.